it came from tantra yoga which can invoke divine power within you bring them together as i said place it here and now with extent priest in india used to practice this mudra when they used to install a new statue in temples to call the divine power in this statue why sometimes we desire and after putting in so much effort we still remain far from that achievement whether we want to achieve perfect health or any achievement in social world it happens because either we work only at physical level or we work only at mental level or if you are good focused person maybe you work at both level physical and mental but still you are not working with your energy level energy body is very important to connect these two efforts together and creates a path for the success But today i'm going to introduce you one of the tantric practice which were later practiced by many hatha yogis for their greater purpose as you all know the cosmos is a storehouse of energy same energy also present in subtle way inside all the objects present in this universe so in you also so it means whatever you see outside is also present inside you in a subtle form of energy that's the reason vedic scriptures says yat pinde tat brahmande it means whatever is outside is inside you so instead of bring effort outside do the effort inside and expand your energy body so that you connect really with that cosmos energy so if you want to attract the cosmic energy to you or any object which is made by this energy such as wealth you want or any social status you want whatever you want you must connect and synchronize your pranic body your energy to the cosmos energy for that you must know those practices which are very essential for your energy body to expand its magnetic field and energy to such an extent that the energy of cosmos is automatically attracted towards you yogis and tantrics in india have revealed such mysterious practices which can work for same so one of the practice which you are learning today it came from tantra yoga it involves the practice of a special mudra which can invoke divine power within you in ancient time priest in india used to practice this mudra when they used to install a new statue in temples to call the divine power in this statue so that this statue become alive and can heal many humans later through this mudra they used to transmit the divine energy to that statue to become alive to become more energetic that's the reason because they used to call the divine power this mudra called avahan mudra the name itself tells the meaning avahan avahan means to call to attract this is very ancient tantric mudra which is dedicatedly working for attraction the practice of mudras are the fundamental exercise that involves the manipulation of energy body to stabilize the harmonious connection between your energy to the cosmos energy hence the practice of pranayam emphasizes strongly to mudras practice so if you perform this avahan mudra your energy body becomes so capable which can easily attract whatever you desire because you are calling this energy towards you and that's the purpose of this mudra yogis and tantrics they used to practice this mudra for two times a day morning and evening but you must understand when i'm saying that you can attract that energy so if you have any desire of certain object you are attracting this object towards you so the energy by this object also attract towards you it means if this object is surrounded by the negative energy also attracted towards you if it is with positive energy also attracts you so before you are attracting some object or if you want to achieve something with your desire you must see that which types of energy this object is having around priest in temples used to perform this mudra in the morning tantrics used to perform this mudras in evening night time both times are fine because this mudra need strong focused state of mind and these two timing morning and evening are perfectly fit for this practices because we are more calm there's no much thoughts 5 minutes you can practice this mudra and you can extend to 10 minutes also these two times 5 to 10 minutes in the morning 5 to 10 minutes in the evening for certain purpose you can practice this mudra now let's understand how to perform this mudra 
avahan mudra also called avahani mudra you need to use your hands it is a one types of hast mudra there are many types of mudras hast mudra which is performed by hands mano mudra which is performed by mind kaya mudra which is performed by physical body so this is a hast mudra in tantra it is mentioned how to perform the avahani mudra you can see in the screen in this avahani mudra you will use your both hands and you will bring them together like that if i show you from the front you need to use you need to touch the last line of a small finger both together and you should touch them like that the line after that you will bring the wrist closer to the navel here navel is a storehouse of your energy body so from the navel your energy storehouse this mudra becomes a mediator to connect the cosmic power and this is how the energy is channelizing so this mudra you will place here there will be two focus point where you will focus after performing this mudra one is third eye one is navel third eye you will focus if you want to grow spiritually through this mudra you can pray for certain god to get their blessings so if you are devotee of krishna devotee of shiva devotee of any goddess and if you want to get their blessings their power you will imagine them or front of the temple you will practice this mudra and you will focus third eye if you are working with this mudra just to have a social achievements then you will focus on navel center these are the two points you can focus depends on your desire what you want place the hands here now after connecting both hands you will touch the tip of your thumb to the root of your small finger here see here this it should not be up it should not be side it should not be in directly center of the root here both and now extend three fingers like that bring them together as i said place it here and now with extended three fingers for 5 minutes with closed eyes you will just focus at these two points and just meditate breathing will be slow and soft so 5 minutes you will start for a few days after one week or two weeks you can extend to 10 minutes regularly you will practice this mudra if you are practicing this mudra in front of temple you can practice by bringing the hands close to the eyes same line with third eye also this is how you can practice this mudra also so these are the two ways to perform but remember that your thumb should not come out from this because sometimes you don't have maybe flexibility with your wrist or with your fingers you are not able to stay longer or you are when you are pressing the thumb your index finger will bend forward like that make sure that both are extended all fingers are extended and this thumb is touching the root this is how the mudra will be performed like that this is a vahani mudra practice this regularly if you like this video please share to others and help them to understand these yogic techniques if you are new to this channel please subscribe and i will see you again with a new video namaste if you want to develop your yogic sadhana you can join our online regular classes you can see the link in description there will be multiple time slots you can choose according to your country time and comfort time through this practice you can grow your yogic sadhana with us thank you